I think it's just about time to open that package that arrived two years ago and has been sitting on my floor in the same spot ever since. So here's a close-up view of the stamps on this package. And as you might be able to tell, this package is from Ukraine. And you're probably wondering, what would I be buying from Ukraine? And as you might expect, it's a collection of circuit boards from a 1960s Soviet-era mainframe computer. And I bought a few of these, so we'll try to go through the package and match them up. Okay, they're out of the envelope. Looks like they're packaged between a couple sheets of cardboard. Okay, there we go. There's the contents of the package. And it looks like I got a couple of gift pieces. So that one there, and I guess this one over here. So let's start with this circuit here and try to figure out what that one is. So I guess this one is a logic circuit board for a Mir U1M1 Soviet computer. So I guess according to this, it's actually a set of two printed circuit boards. And supposedly, assuming this description is correct, these circuit boards will implement one of the fundamental logical operations for one of these Soviet-era mainframe computers. And this here looks like it's the other matching circuit. And here's a look at the other side. It's not immediately clear to me what the pinout of this would be, if this is in fact a simple logic circuit. And here's a bit of a close-up view of that first circuit. Okay, next let's try to find this one. Here's the matching circuits for the second one. And the eBay description for this one looks to be the same as the last one. But the title claims that it's a Mir D3M First Soviet computer. And here's a close-up view of the second circuit. And it looks like the description for the second circuit is nearly identical to the first one. And here's the listing for the third circuit. This right here appears to be the match for that one. Here's what the other side of that circuit looks like. And if I go in for a closer look, I'm not sure, but I think those are diodes. And it looks like one of them is pointing in the reverse direction. And once again, it's more or less the same description. Okay, here's the next circuit. These two circuits here look like a pretty close match. And here's a closer look at that circuit. And here's the bottom view. And here is the next circuit. Here's a view of the top and the bottom. And here is the next circuit. And once again, here's a view of the top of the circuit and the bottom. Next up, we have this circuit. Here's a top view and a bottom view. And the resistors on this one look a bit different, so here's a close-up view. There's definitely some interesting color symbolism going on here. And I assume that black thing there is a transistor package. And next up, we have these two circuits that look basically identical, except the color of the board is different. And here's a close-up view of the top and the bottom. And the last one that I explicitly ordered is this one. And here's a top view of the circuit and the bottom. And finally, the only two that are remaining are the two that were included as a gift. Here's the top view of this one and the bottom and the top view for the other one and the bottom. Okay, so that's all of them. Now this video is going to be a bit shallow on the analysis. Some of you are probably hoping that I would have drawn out the circuit diagrams and tested all the values of the components. Assuming that all of these are actually used for calculating some individual logical operation, it shouldn't be too difficult to get them to work. Having said that, I don't know much about the manufacturing techniques of resistors and diodes and transistors of this era, so some of those values may have changed and they may not function as originally intended. So anyway, it was interesting to finally take a look at these after two years of sitting beside them and ignoring them every day. My goal for this video is to hopefully get it finished and ready for publication by the end of the day. So if the analytics for this video do well, then I might revisit this topic in the future and do something more in depth.